shoots. Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Now what we are here today to look at is a tank. It is a tank. I don't care what you say. It's a tank. And it is, I would definitely say, the manliest wallet that I've ever come across. Now, in the world that we live in today, I'm sure you'll all agree that saying something is very manly isn't a sexist comment nowadays because a man can be a man, a, a lady can be a man, a Sherman tank can identify as a man so that's not a sexist thing today because this really is the manliest wallet this is this is just full of grunt and uh, the Ranger minimalist wallet uh, from Rugged Material Wallets it's a beast it is a beast now I know I've said that the Travax wallets are tanks, and they are, but the Ranger Minimalist wallet makes those previous tanks look like they're made from paper. Seriously. This is legitimately possibly the hardest wallet that I've come across. I could put, there's a tree there, I could, I mean it's just off camera, I could throw this at that tree. I wouldn't want to, mainly because it would destroy the tree, it would fall down and I'd have to see if I could you know, replant it or something. Um, but yes, this is unbelievably tough. Um, but it's still a minimalist wallet. It's still there just to keep the bare essentials of what you need to carry minimalism, uh, especially as wallets concerns, make you think a little bit more about what you're putting in there. So I'll stop the rambling. I like to ramble. I, like, I ramble a lot. I mean, I'll ramble. I go for a walk every day, but I ramble with the mouth. So what I will do is let's turn the camera around and take a closer look at the Ranger Minimalist Wallet. So this is the Ranger Minimalist Wallet. Now as we usually do we'll go through some measurements, some materials uh, and then we will have a look at the actual features. Now as far as the measurements are concerned I'll leave the measurements down here so you can read through those but I'm just going to pop out one of these cards mainly because this is a standard credit or debit card sized card and when I put it on top of here you'll be able to see that it is pretty much identical and it's the same size. Now the only difference is on the outside here. I, um, I did take a measurement, I think it's it's either two millimeters or 2.5 millimeters in inches. It's 0.003 of an inch. And this is the folded steel that this uh, wallet is made from. Now this really is where the rugged material side of this comes from. It is, apart from the little elastic loop here, which I'm just gonna put down for a second, this is 100% made from this steel plate. And it is also powder coated, which gives it this really nice finish. So powder coating, if you're new to powder coating, rather than painting, from, uh, well, I'm not 100% on it, but I, from what I understand, powder coating. So what it does is it's dipped in, uh, it's dipped in the powder and then it uses either a positive or a negative charge. Uh, and then that makes the, uh, the powder coating attract to the, uh, to the metal. Then when it's heated, it's almost bonded to the metal to make sure that it's it, it's very tough. Um, you'll always find that powder coating something is a lot stronger and tougher than painting something. I'm sure there's somebody out there that is a, either a powder coater or a painter and you'll go, oh, well, actually, I think you'll find that this paint is even more stronger than... You know, I'm a layman. I don't know too much about it. I just know that powder coating is, is you know, is particularly tough. Now on the front, so I have just took, take, taken off the um, the little elastic that goes around the outside. So this elastic, I think it is about an inch and a half. It's your really tough mill spec type of uh, type of elastic. Um, if you wanted to, I guess you could pimp this out and you could get some of your own elastic to put on there, but it's really nice. It comes in, uh, th I think there's three or four different colors. There's like a tan, this is the gray, there's a black, and there's also a Ranger green one, which I think is a limited edition. I will double check that, but the Ranger green one, when you look on the website, is separate to, to, these, to these other ones. But you've also got some tools on here as well. So all in all, there's 12 tools that you can get with this. You have a small quarter inch wrench here. There is a 12 millimeter wrench here. You've got five different um, SAE um, uh, 
heads here and then you've got four uh, metric heads here should you want to use those. If you have a look on the website it tells you exactly what each of those is and then when I flip this over you've also got a bottle opener here on the back. Now I'm just going to put this back on mainly so that the cards don't fall out um, but for me generally I carry six cards at this moment in here there are eight of those so I'm just going to put these two to one side but the way in which this works in fact I will take this back off again I seem to be putting this on and off quite a lot but here we go okay so let's put those down there for a second so you have this top Part. I guess if you wanted to, if you wanted to reduce down some of the weight, you could take this off if you didn't want to have this have this on here. But it, it does it does come with it. I don't know if rugged materials sell them separately. I suppose they could do an ultra minimalist and just sell this one. But I, I think it's nice that this is included in here. Um, with the gap here at the bottom, you can push your cards up, which is also the same opening here where the where the bottle opener is. Um, but the, the this this part with the actual tools on there is a perfectly flat piece of steel and it's exactly the same steel as this one uh, what did they say what did I say it was 0 0.003 uh, millimeters what's that is that that's three thousandths of a millimeter I think that is anyway um, but then this piece if you can see so this is constructed from just one whole piece it's been cut and then it will be put into a die to make sure that these are all folded up perfectly. So you've got two on each side and then you've got these bottom two here which fold up to make sure that when your cards are in there it stops them from sliding out of the bottom. Now the six cards that I've got in here at the moment, these are all blank cards and none of them have been embossed. The main reason that I bought these two additional cards is that these now are the same width of six cards with some of those being embossed. Now I think with my cards four of those are embossed and two of them aren't um, which as I mentioned so this is this is why um, it makes it roughly the, the, the same. Now I think on the on the um, on the rugged arm of the rugged materials website it does say that you can fit up to eight cards in here and that's because so if you can see so where these corner parts come up, there's almost a, a bit of a lip. So carrying six cards means that there is just that little lip there. It means that I can push this forward, I can still get my cards out, I can go through the ones that I want the most. It's not a, a type of card holder that will, you know, like fan them out for you. It certainly doesn't do that. If that's something that you really require in a card holder, then you, you don't particularly get that. The way that I do it is on the front here I'll have the debit or credit card that I use the most and then on the back I'll keep my driving license and ID on there. So the two cards that I always need to get access to are there just by pushing that up. It's really nice and um, the, and the clamping force now as mentioned so the uh, so the elastic on here is very very high quality elastic all of this by the way as I'm talking through this all of this is sourced materialed and completely constructed in the USA again you know there's there's a there's a lot of kudos with that nowadays. If you're certainly after something that is homegrown, made USA, this is this this is you know, you know it's 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 all there. But as I mentioned, so the um, the 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 elastic the the strap on this is very strong. Now I can shake this. I'm trying to get it out as much as I can. Okay, so. You do have to kind of, well, I was holding it there at the bottom, but it's come out. But I would like to say that this has passed the now defunct international shake test. You know, it's really not coming out of there. I did it again there. It's maybe come out a millimeter or so. If you're worried about, you know, your cards coming out of this, you really shouldn't worry about this. Because of its construction, this the, and, the, and the materials that this is made from, any cards... Oh, sorry about that. I think we've just gone out of focus there for a second. Let's get this back into focus. Focus! There we go. Um, because of the material that this is constructed from, any cards that you put into here are... Um, uh, what's the word? 
Ah, I forgot the word. They are RFID protected. That's what I, that's what I was trying to think. I even had my notes down there, and I was, I was frantically trying to find it. So again, if you're security conscious and you want to make sure that your cards are protected in here. As I've used the analogy so many times that this is a tank. One, this is a tank from, you know, any of your cards being protected from being hit like that in face-to-face uh, -face armed combat, but it's also protected in cyber warfare. Oh, sorry about that, we're just gonna have to focus again there, haven't we? But it's also protected from cyber warfare because of the RFID protecting qualities of the materials that this is made from. Uh, rugged materials wallets are, you know, they're a, they're great people. Um, they really are great people, and they stand by their wallet. This gets a lifetime guarantee. Should anything go wrong with it, get back in touch with them. I mean, let's face it, they're good people, and they've made a great product here. They know that nothing is going to go wrong with this. Um, I guess, unless maybe it was driven over by a tank. I still think it would probably just leave a large indent in the floor because it's just it's just a beast. Now, I did want to compare this to some other wallets because I do have some other wallets similar in some respects to this. The first ones, really, I wanted to show off some of these Travax wallets. Um, this would have been my wallet of the year last year had I uh, had I got to the end of the year and, and, and certainly noted on some of those things. So this is the, oh, I always forget what it's called. This is the Trevax Armour. Is it the Armoured? Um, oh, or is it the Armoured Summit? Oh, I, I, I forget. I'll, I'll put down here what it's called. But it's a very similar wallet. So you have these curled bits here to keep your cards in place. You also have this top uh, piece sheet metal there as well to make sure that your cards this one just uses a piece of webbing so every time you put a new card in somebody if somebody gave you a new card and you went from say four to six cards you'd have to take this webbing out and you'd have to rearrange it so that so that you know it, it fit again whereas with this one with with the uh, with the ranger wallet because of the elastic that's on here you can just you know, you don't have to worry too much about having to do that every single time. And again, now, I used to think that this was the toughest wallet that I'd ever come across. But if I put this there, I don't know if you can see this, maybe I'll see if I can get a good photo of this, but this is at least a millimeter thicker than this. Um, yeah, incredibly tough. Then we've got the Trevax uh, Wallet version two. Oh, uh, sorry, I forgot to forgot to put these on top of each other. Now, uh, side to side, on top of each other, they are roughly the same size. Now, with the Trevax Wallet version two, um, the the width of this material is probably the same, but with this one, so that they can save on some weight, the top pinch or at least the top sandwich material is actually a lot thicker than this bottom piece the top piece is probably the same width in fact yeah it is the same it is the same width but this bottom piece is at least a millimeter shorter when i put these on top of each other you can see that the trevax one underneath is just that extra little bit wider but the difference with the trevax one is it does come across the end where you've got these extra little things on the end that you can either use for a lanyard or um, use as a little, a little driver there as well. Next up we have the Attenuo wallet which is another very tough one these are these are designed here in the UK but if I put these if put this on top of each other hopefully you can see that I know it's quite dark behind but the Attenuo wallet is just ever so slightly wider. The difference with the Attenuo wallet is that you have four cards on each of the different slots. They are roughly the same size when I put them there against each other. This one will go down ever so slightly, but because you have those lips on the end here, it will, it will always be, it will always have those, have those lips. But again, all of these are all really nice minimalist wallets. The next one would be the Axwell wallet. Now the Axwell wallet is just slightly smaller and that's in the respect that, so with the Axwell wallet, you push your card in there and it really is the same size of a card. The only difference with the, uh, with the Ranger wallet is the fact that you've got, these, uh, you've got these lips on the outside. If I was to take this out and put that on top of there, 
you'd be able to see that they are identical in size. Now when there are cards in there, they are both roughly the same size as well. But yes, I always say this when I show those. Look at the uh, look at the patina that I managed to put on this. I'll leave a link to the video where I showed how you can add a forced patina uh, to any copper or brass. Last one on here, so this is the extra wallet. You can see when these are on top of each other, they are roughly the same width. The difference with the extra wallet is this is just ever so slightly longer because you have that little action there on the side. It is ever so slightly thinner. This one is made from a billet of aluminium, um, but you can't put as many cards. This is for up to six cards, whereas the Ranger wallet is kind of, well, it says up to eight cards. I guess you could put more, more cards in there, but what you would find is after eight cards is some of the cards would come past this lip. So you might find that there's a little bit of slippage there, but compared to each other, you know, they're roughly the same, uh, but you know, the, the Atenuo one is, uh, sorry, Atenuo, sorry, the extra wallet is just that extra little bit longer. Keeping this by itself though, as a minimalist rugged wallet, this really has just set a new bar for ruggedness. It is undeniable that this is a beast. It is a beast, but it just, it just disappears in your pocket. It's strange. It's like a Sherman tank that can fold up perfectly into a minimalist wallet and disappear in your back pocket, in your front pocket. It doesn't feel any heavier than other wallets. Especially as well when you think about minimalist wallets are all about stripping back the bump, stripping back the rubbish. You don't need the receipts from Valentine's Day three years ago. You don't need that card that somebody scribbled an address on that you've never used. There's a selection of cards that you use on a daily basis or, or weekly basis or maybe even a monthly basis that are the minimal requirements that you need to carry. And that's what these wallets do for you. But what this does is, is it takes an Abrams tank, puts your cards perfectly into it, shrink wraps that Abram, Abrams tank so it's a, it's a nice little minimalist wallet like this, slip straight into your pocket and yeah, last year, the Travax, which was it called now? The Travax Armour, is it the Travax Armour wallet? That would have been, unfortunately at the end of the year I didn't get to do my kind of, this is what um, my XXX of the year would have been. This is setting a very high bar for 2023. And yeah, I really, really like this wallet. In fact, this is the wallet that I now go back to when I've done other different wallet reviews and I try different things, so really impressed with this. Now I would like to graciously say thank you to the Rugged Materials uh, team. I got in touch with them and they, they, you know, they noticed some of the things that happened over the new year. They got back in touch with me and they were just incredibly nice people. I think they're the type of people from the US that everybody believes comes from the US. Incredibly nice, family oriented Christian people and yeah, really nice. So out of all, I mean, I always say you need to go and you need to go and you need to give them some love, but please, please, please. And it does sound a little pleady, but I, I really do think that you should um, make sure you check them out on Instagram, on Facebook and all of the other different places and check out their Ranger Minimalist wallet. Um, yeah, this is really nice and, and a huge thank you to, uh, to the team there. Of course, as I just mentioned, you know, I'll leave all of the links below. This is YouTube. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you've made it to the end and you've made it all the way this far, I'd certainly like to thank you uh, for getting to this point. Um, but for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC. You know how it is today. A three-legged, short... Penis? No, that's wrong. How it is today. <laughs> In the world that we live in, a, sh a, th a short-necked, three-legged, one-eared giraffe named Wayne can identify as a man. And it's a great world that we live in, you know? The world that we live in nowadays.
an old frying skillet with too many dents because your missus has hit you round the head on it on a Friday night because you've not cleaned your pants off the kitchen floor can identify as a man if it wants to. So saying this is, is a main age in the world that we live in, that's not a sexist comment nowadays because a purple orca with three dorsal fins from Belgium can identify as a man if it wanted to. So saying this is saying that this is a manly wallet definitely isn't sexist. Even a glitter encrusted tandem bike with no seat can identify as a man so it certainly makes it easier this is a manly wallet in this stunning day and age that we live in certainly isn't sexist nowadays even a lesser spotted limpalingan from Mars that's traveled all of the way to earth can identify as a man if it chooses to which is great more power to lesser spotted limpalingans but saying this is a manly wallet quantifiably is not sexist because anything can identify as a man heck even a nintendo 64 that plays sega mega drive cartridges can identify as a man that's why even that tree stripped bare milled made into a coffee table can identify as a man and that's why i'm perfectly accepted it's perfectly okay for me to say that this is a manly 